where in the organization does the TPRM function report? Where in the organization does the TPRM function report? Yeah, so I, I think, uh, Brad, you had answered this one. I think uh, typically we're seeing it evolve more towards uh, uh, in the risk areas, um, but historically it started in information security, and, and we've also seen, and I, I work in organizations where it re reported up into procurement. So, But we are seeing that moving more towards the uh, either the enterprise risk area or uh, a third-party risk designee. So I think that was – Brad kind of hit that earlier on. So. Um, Hopefully that clarifies that. Okay, and this was also submitted by uh, one of the attendees. Are we expected to vet the agencies like Fannie Mae, HUD, et cetera, or do anything with them? Also, housing authorities all over the country. That's the way the, the uh, uh, question was phrased. You know, that, that's an interesting it's a question because when you talk about Fannie and Freddie and, and the like, is you're talking about almost a quasi-governmental agency. Um, I'm not aware of, of anyone, and, and Charlie and, and Paul, correct me, who's who's doing assessments of those agencies. But I don't know that, in fact, it's not happening. I know what at least two of their third, two of those agencies' third-party risk programs look like, and they're they're incredibly robust. So, Paul, Charlie, have you got any enlightenment yeah, on that? I, yeah, sure, Brad. So I know when I was at AIG, one of the questions we got was specifically around uh, Fannie and. Uh, you know, and it came from the CFPB, and there was an expectation that they would be subject to some of their requirements uh, around third-party risk management. So uh, I would say if you're in doubt, uh, ask. It doesn't hurt to ask uh, the agencies that you're doing business with and make sure that you understand what, the, what, their, what their position is and what they're doing to mitigate any regulatory concerns that uh, might be imposed on them.